I feel that I'm not a person to teach anything, but I can love. And on my Twitter, I always tweet that love starts with a smile. And I post a very beautiful picture of Jesus Christ smiling. But my personal feeling is this. Yes, with Jesus' smile, love starts. But my love starts with a coffee. And so we are having coffee because Jesus has said, love one another. If you love me, I give you a new commandment. A new commandment that Jesus has given is love. Love is very pure. Love is a very just feeling. Love is very committed feeling when we love somebody then we want to commit that person ourselves for that person one time a person wanted to carry the yoke of jesus christ or the cross and jesus is there and he tells to jesus christ that he wants to go back and consult his family or his people and then want to come back to jesus jesus said that the person who carries the yoke and turns back is not a person fit to enter into the kingdom because who really loves doesn't turn back turning back has many symbolic meaning also it's like a metaphor also that when you learn somebody why you turn back because you want to judge that person and just know then you will not be judged when you love you trust love it's not about the person whom you love I have experience of love that people whom we love they they don't understand us so what we are loving for two people at a time like when marriage happens that is the fulfillment of love what happens a man is there a bride is there and God is there when we see this totality of love we know that we are loving through God it's not a girl whom we love it's not a man whom you we love we love God because we are first loved by God it is not a question that my partner is treating misbehaving with me is bad with me is not so good with me all right there is some limitation beyond that it's you know it's wise to be away from the person but as long as there is some normal misunderstanding between a lover a partner then we can contemplate this way that i gotta love her or him because i'm being loved by god jesus used to do this like peter denied jesus christ three times on the most important night peter is most important person for this church that on his rock this Jesus wanted to build the church church means faith because when we go to church when we go to the place of worship we gain faith even when we read the scripture we gain faith and this Peter who whose foundation is faith denied Jesus Christ three times and Jesus gets crucified and such sadness happens that Jesus is on the cross and every church i mean not modern church but i mean not many church <laughs> no there are many modern church also but many churches have jesus on a cross and uh, but peter who is the rock on which this church is made is the person who did not witness jesus getting crucified on the cross he was somewhere in in his inner journey toward the christ so this peter denied jesus christ but jesus left did not leave him jesus comes back to him jesus loves him even when jesus comes back it is peter to whom jesus asks do you love me three times because this shows how much jesus trusted peter this only shows because jesus is embodiment of love and jesus himself said that the time is coming when you will all be scattered to your own place and you will leave me all alone but i'm not alone my father is with me and here jesus says that i we see that jesus is loving peter because jesus is being loved by god jesus loved judas who was not even the church he is the <laughs> stumbling stone i mean the the stone that is uh, that caused Jesus and so many people used to stone Jesus Christ but one stone that is from inside the camp of or the people or inner circle of Jesus Christ that that made any castle fall down and such was a Judas who traded this is the literal word Jesus Christ and sold life of Jesus Christ for 30 coins but Jesus given was dining with him and gave his bread that eat this is my flesh and this is this water or, or the wine was the blood of Jesus Christ Jesus gave even to him Jesus loved him why was it about Peter no it is about God because Jesus used to say anybody whom my father brings to me 
will not he will not give up those people because Jesus is being loved. I feel that in this world only way we can love when we realize that we are being loved because when we there are so many people who want to have a good partner in their life and they expect too much from their partner they believe that may god i get married to such a man through whom i receive your love okay jesus is there to give you love of him <laughs> why are you giving so much pressure on a person even peter who is the most perfect of a man was unable to be like a perfect man he denied jesus christ judas who was the disciple of jesus christ even he was not the perfect structure of man even Paul, who had lived a life of Saul, had such heart safe in his life. Even he cannot be an image of perfect, a perfect husband or people like Mary Magdalene, etc. Even they, they all transformed from one level to another through Jesus, through love of Jesus. But you cannot imagine that they are perfect since they are born. So how can we expect such people as our partner? So when we want to love somebody, I feel there is only one way possible to love it is when we feel that how much we love God how much and that's why it is important that every now and then we withdraw from the world and we invest any time with God just I and God like there is a very beautiful song and it is Mother Day's tomorrow it is from the song from Sophia the first it is a cartoon program and there is a very beautiful song me and my mom although the lyrics is not so beautiful because the mom uh, is loving other children also but she remembers that how it was when she was with her mom alone and no other brothers and sisters were there and she remembers it and that's how Jesus Christ also used to do that he used to contemplate that how it was when the world was not made how he was living in the glory with God and now yes there is so much suffering but again he and his dad <laughs> He and the Father become one and this unity he will attain, again attain that glory that Jesus was even before because Jesus says even Abraham was born even before Abraham was born I am so when we recollect our mind for a moment and we contemplate deeper that how it was when we were made by the breath of God every one of us is made especially exclusively if we all are not made in image of God if God has not made us by their his own hand then why there is nobody like us we are not made in a factory there is everybody has his own fingerprints no two moments of this world is alike two days appear like that this Monday is same that Sunday was same but not exactly same no two moments no two days no two feeling no two thoughts are exactly the same like we are having coffee right now and oh i love the smell of coffee i don't drink too much of coffee but i keep coffee near me because it gives me a very beautiful smell but no two coffee is exactly the same exactly the same many people who could appear like me but I see that how God sees me. God has made me exactly just that I am. To other people, it is easy. Even to a partner, it is easy. They replace one partner and get another partner, then another partner, then another partner. But with God, it is not like that. God cannot get any other you than just you. Because God has not made anyone other than you. Who could be like you? No. We all have our own DNA, we all have our own fingerprints and Jesus says that he knows his sheep by name and he calls them, he meets them and he rejoices most when he has 99 sheep and one is lost and he wants to go there and get that back. That gives him greater joy. So I feel through Jesus Christ that it is this faith this contemplation that every now and then jesus used to slip away from the crowd and go into solitary and pray when we go there we see our glorified picture we see because only for god we are we and only they are, are really our lover who can see either our parents our brother sister children or friend who can see something in us that cannot be replaced any person no matter how much he or she loves you 
if he thinks that you can be replaced that he he can get another friend than you or she can get another friend than you then you can believe that they are not yet in love with you because when we love something then we cannot find anything in this world that can match with that you can bring me any kind of drink for me and say that it tastes good i will also say yes it tastes very good but it is not like my coffee that i drink i make myself or i am listening to the music and and drinking this coffee seeing the sunset no feeling can match with this kind of joy because god has created all of us in exclusive dna because breath of god is exclusive yes we all are made in breath of god but no one is generalized everybody is different like when you are walking on a street and you see huge crowd around you everybody will appear like you but no one is you what is going in your head is only going in your head so when we see this individuality of us it only happens when we get some time to re recollect ourselves even for one moment of call it prayer call it meditation but it is moment with god when you go and sit down near god then you will see how god sees you and you will see a glorified picture of yourself you will see that how much you are being loved by god and when you feel this moment one single glimpse of being loved by god being loved by you as you then you get power of everything you get power of any kind of feeling you get power to love your neighbor you get power to love your enemy jesus is not saying that everybody is good he is using the word enemy enemy is the people who are bad bad otherwise why jesus said enemy there are many great teachers who said every human is alike they all are divine okay but jesus is using the word enemy because they are doing something bad with you and you don't have to be blind of these things but you can still love because like a flower who will give its fragrance to a person who is a bad character a good character a person who comes to give water into the plant or a person who comes to the pluck of the flower flower will give its fragrance to everybody so we give our fragrance of love to everybody because we are being loved we cannot control this fragrance of love that coming from god to us and it will spread to everybody and i know about you that you are special because you are here not because you are here for me because the name christ or jesus has attracted to you because anywhere jesus said that his sheep knows his voice and they get attracted to him so anywhere any name that attracts you shows you to whom you belong if you get attracted to the name of christ if you get attracted to the name of god if you get attracted to the name of divinity then you are divine this shows a lot about you and you are here so i feel very thankful for your presence that has sanctified this channel and my coffee also and i feel greater joy in my coffee and i thank you for being here and we can love because we are loved and we can love we can be the, we are already the fragrance of that flower that is made in image of god and from us always this fragrance will spread no matter what and the flame of eternal love of god will will spread its light everywhere so thanking you and praying for a beautiful blessed life of yours and uh, Thank you so much for listening to these words with so much of love. Thank you for giving a beautiful taste to my coffee. And I thank you. My prayers for you. May God bless you. Thank you so much.